Ric Flair caught in a act, an adult act on a plane. You've all seen the photo floating around everywhere. And of course, first of all, tonight is AW Dynamite. So you guys got to make sure to be here live with me as soon as Dynamite ends. You know I'm going to be live, taking your calls, talking to you guys. going to be hundreds of people in here. Uh, it's going to be a good time. So be there for that, plus Patreon support. Thank you guys for that. But Ric Flair has commented on this, finally said something. And this is what the Nature Boy has said. Woo! Yeah, baby, I love it. Look at this Look at this caption. It's, it's not Ric Flair. Unfortunately, it's not Ric Flair. Ric Flair tweeting out, this picture is as real as the other one floating around. The Nature Boy doesn't ride trains. That's right. So... That picture is false. It's not really Ric Flair, but he is trending today because of that, and he's been all over the place today because of that. I mean, talk about, like, getting all the best. Like, Ric Flair is trending better than any other superstar, maybe other than CM Punk right now, and he's probably going to AEW. I mean, can AEW do no wrong with it? Even when people get things wrong in the press about them, it becomes a viral story of another guy who's going to AEW. WWE can't get anybody to go viral over there. I mean, that's the crazy thing to me that this kind of shows you. Um, It's just wild that that's what's going on. Uh, WWE status on Molly Holly and and Sean Devari. I mean, who cares? Like, like That's a news story. Then there's betting odds on Daniel Bryan's first AEW opponent, betting odds on CM Punk's first opponent. Uh, Pretty crazy that there's betting odds on that stuff already. WWE SummerSlam status of Sasha Banks and Bianca Blair is still up in the air. They're still not telling us exactly what's going on. I think the match is going on. I just think they're keeping quiet until they can get these positive or negative test results back to make sure they're negative, negative, negative. Okay, match is on like it's supposed to happen. Um, And that's all I think that they're waiting for. They don't want to push the match like really hardcore when there's like a 60, 40, 30% chance it could be canceled due to a couple of positive tests leading up to SummerSlam. We're only going to know Within 48 hours before SummerSlam, I'm assuming they're going to test twice before the match starts, both individuals, and then things will be, you know, set to happen. I don't know. What do you guys think about all the news today? The weird news? There's a lot of other wrestling news. There's a bunch of other wrestling news. If you want me to talk about in length and do a podcast on current news and what's going on, leave those topics down below in the comments section, and I'm going to go ahead and get to them. I may put out another video before Dynamite tonight, and if I don't, I will do a full podcast where I talk about those um, questions, comments, and other news topics that I did not get to. I would love to do that. And so, therefore, like I said, leave it in the comments down below. You guys have been unbelievable. I do want to shout out. uh, You guys have been really nice in the thanks section. Ian, uh, I want to thank Ian right here for dropping $5 as a thanks on the thanks spot down below. Uh, the other day. I think somebody else might have too, so I'm just going to go double check. But I did pin Ian's comment. It was $5 in support, um, which was the the highest. Uh, It was Abdul. Abdul also dropped a thanks, so I wanted to shout him the other day. Uh, He also, in that same video yesterday, dropped a $1.99 thank you. So thank you to Abdul who did that. And um, I think that was it. But yeah, Ian was the top uh, supporter on that video. So thank you, Ian, for making a video that would have made $3.00. Instead, it made $9, which is pretty cool. So thank you, man. I I pinned your comment. And, of course, the new thanks system is down below, and it's pretty cool, man. It really helps anybody who doesn't want to – anybody who's not a patron and doesn't want all the bonus content on Patreon, or even if you are a patron already, it's just another way to help out if you really like a video. So that's really cool that YouTube implemented that. I would like to see them implement a way that it automatically sorts by the top thanker. That'd be cool, YouTube, if you're listening. That'd be a good idea. Um, what do you guys think? Leave in the comments down below. I'd love to talk about whatever you guys have to say. And I will read all the comments. And uh, thank you for yesterday. We had 71 comments, which is pretty good for a 2,000 uh, view video. Um, and I will see you guys tonight live after AEW Dynamite. Here's some other videos popping up now. If you don't want to do any of that other BS I just talked about, then feel free to just keep watching my channel.